Lakers I've ever got in my life. I love everyone. What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball from SonsOfWrestling.com for a WWE Raw review. And let me tell you what, Survivor Series was great, Raw was not. So, needless to say, we did have a couple surprises that were nice, though, to, uh, to help ease you through this show. One was Daniel Bryan, so that is really cool to see him back. And uh, not not in ring, but back, at least on camera. So anyway, start off the show with what was decent, the authority. They start off raw for the last time, all because of Sting. Thank you, Sting. And uh, Triple H calls the fans bullies, and uh, he feels the fire with Sting here. So later on down the road, you know somehow Triple H will be back to have that match with Sting, which I cannot wait for. Then uh, he cuts a promo without the authority. Um, the Raw will no longer be, and uh, without them, there is no WWE, there is no fans, like the opposite of their commercial. Without you, there is no WWE. So he did one of those, and uh, then Daniel Bryan comes out and he yasses the motherfuckers out of the arena. Awesome shit. And he's just right up in their face. It was great. Awesome. And uh, now da Daniel Bryan has power tonight. He's the acting GM for the night. And, uh, well, he welcomes Team Authority because he's not such a bad guy. And uh, he gives them some opportunities here, chances. And they get to pick what they want to do. So he gives Seth Rollins a handicap match, which he's used to. A uh, three-on-two against Cena Ziggler. And, uh, but, but he leaves the, uh, the choice of his teammates up to the WWE Universe. And uh, clearly you know it's going to be JJ Security, which was quite funny. He then makes Corporate Kane concessions Kane. <laughs> makes him sell popcorn and hot dogs and shit. And that was quite funny. But hey, you're, uh, you're not a WWE employee. You must do as you are said. Or, I mean, you could get fired. Fuck it. So... He goes and sells his shit, and then, uh, which was funny, then Rusev has an opportunity also to um, defend his U.S. title against every man in the locker room in a battle royal, or recite the Pledge of Allegiance with a big old American flag behind him. And then um, he also gives uh, Harper versus Ambrose for the IC title, and then he gives Mark Henry a match with Ryback. And, uh, well, he says... That's what I do, Daniel Bryan. That was pretty funny. Ryback comes out, knocks Mark Henry down because the match is right now. And uh, Ryback destroys Mark Henry in no time with a big giant meat hook. Pretty damn cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, it was really fast, really fast though. But the beginning segment was so long, understandable. Then we have uh, Triple H, Stephanie McMahon with Vince McMahon in the parking lot. Vince McMahon explains to never be sorry for anything that you do. Maybe sorry for like words that you've said or something you've done, but never be sorry here for this shit. And uh, he's disappointed in them. <laughs> so, nothing worse than saying you're disappointed in your uh, your daughter and son-in-law. And then he says something about maybe I'll be sorry about Thanksgiving with you two. <laughs> awesome shit. Anyway, they get in the limo, they take off. Then we have. Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper for the IC title. Excellent match. Really good shit. These guys are doing a really good job. And, um, the, you know, you knew this was coming. You get a DQ. Ambrose hits Dirty Deeds to a chair to Luke Harper. Um, this was when it looked like Ambrose knocked into the ref, but Luke Harper had pushed him. It's just accidental bullshit. Whatever. Then, uh, we go for tables. The crowd's chanting for the tables. And uh, we introduce the ladder, the tables, and but Bray Wyatt meets Dean Ambrose outside of the ring, hits Sister Abigail, takes him out, throws him on top of the announcer's booth, and he falls over it, buries him in chairs, stands on top of the table. Follow the buzzards. That is that leading into TLC. Hey, maybe this will be a little bit better of a run than the last one. And I think so. We have a uh, 
Santino Larry, the Cable Guy segment. Yep, thank goodness Golden Stardust. Uh, break that up for a moment, come out for their match. They have a rematch for the tag titles against Miz and Miz Dow. Just as I expected, Miz Dow's coming down with the children's replica tag belts. <laughs> this was funny. Anyway, Miz Dow actually has an opportunity here. He's wrestling there, and uh, Miz takes advantage of this. And um, comes in, hits Skull Crushing Finale to Gold Dust, retaining the straps. Hell yes, that's fine and dandy. I can't wait for the feud between Miz Dow and Miz. It'll be awesome. Then we have Rusev coming down, and uh, well, he refuses. He's not going to do it. He plans to just leave, say fuck it. Sergeant Slaughter then comes out after Daniel Bryan says, I thought this would happen. So Sergeant Slaughter comes down to supervise, and Lana starts it, but Rusev still covers the mic, throws it down. They're out of there. And uh, well, then Rusev then goes after Sergeant Slaughter. Looks like we're ready to have a little showdown. Swagger in for the save. Swagger again, really? I didn't think that was a good idea, but anyway. It's funny how Swagger couldn't wrestle for Team Cena because of injury, but he wrestled uh, two nights before on SmackDown, main event prior to that, and on Survivor Series, and then the night after he attacked. Dumb. Okay, booking, fucking get your shit straight, creative, whatever. There you go. Then we have Justin Gabriel, which is a goddamn killer wrestler. If you guys have never seen him, I mean, he hasn't really done shit in a few years, but phenomenal. Versus the new improved Fandango. Same damn thing. We get lots of CM Punk chants during this. And um, same match as we had in Survivor Series. Same finisher from Fandango. That was it. Same match. Almost identical. Different shirt on Fandango. It was black instead of white. That's it. Then we have Big Show coming down to the ring asking for forgiveness and he deserves a mulligan he was only doing what he needed to do to retain his job he has a family to take care of he's not a bad guy but for the 317th fucking heel turn face turn whatever you want to do we don't believe the big giant liar so anyway he calls anybody in the back wants to call him out call him a traitor Eric Rowan comes out which was odd anyway and uh while Eric Rowan says he doesn't like bullies, we get a little uh, little tussle here, and Eric Rowan takes Big Show down. So it looks like maybe you don't have Cena versus Big Show going to TLC, and it might be Eric Rowan versus Big Show. Hey, something different. Let's do it, and we'll see what Eric Rowan can do with a bigger dude like that. Then we have Adam. <laughs> Guys, Adam Rose and the Bunny versus Tyson Kidd and Natalya. <sighs> Kiss my ass. Bunny trips Adam Rose, Tyson Kidd pins Adam Rose, that's that, goodbye. Then we have Concessions Kane, and Ryback's hungry, he shows up, he wants this and that, anyway, it turns into a food fight, and then Ryback with his silly comebacks, you forgot your nuts, and he throws a bag of peanuts. Anyway, on to the main event. John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins and j, &J Security, which the WWE Universe broke a record for votes on the WWE app. Thank you to Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan comes on out and uh, we get Mercury and Noble are fucking lost in the ring. I'm sure that's yeah, that's obviously storyline with what they were doing here. Um, AA zigzag for the victory over Mercury and Noble as Seth Rollins watches on. And he didn't want nothing to do with the ending here. Daniel Bryan comes out, throws him back into the ring, and uh, we get a super kick, super kick, and then an AA. And uh, yes, chance galore. And uh, as we pan out, leaving the uh, pretty bad draw, it was pretty bad. The anonymous Raw GMs back to fucking capitalize on how bad this was. And Michael Cole, just like before. May I have your attention? <laughs> so I guess the Raw GM, Anonymous Raw GM, is back next week and is going to put everything back in line. So it really wasn't Hornswoggle? <laughs> That's all I got, folks. <laughs> Raw wasn't good. It was out. Ziggler versus Rollins? Yes. That's the only thing they should have done for the main event here. Everything else didn't need to happen. Daniel Bryan coming out cheering with Ziggler would have been cool at the end of it. That's all they needed to do is keep it simple, and it would have been kick-ass. So there's a few things that just 
pulled out all the stops for Survivor Series. It fell flat on their face on Raw. It is what it is. But still, support pro wrestling. Go to sonsofwrestling.com. Get yourself some cool ass t-shirts and hoodies and all that good shit. And I will catch you guys next time. Tomorrow night for main event. And main event's usually good. So, man, this was a bad Raw. I'm telling you. Next week, it'll be better. Alright guys, peace.